this is a special train. As you see, the seat is a little bit different. Also, this place, you can stand in the middle. Also, on the side too. Here we go. We arrived to Motomachi Chukagai Station. Yes, we are heading to Chinatown because it's Lunar New Year. In the last video, when I visit Yokohama for Yokohama Christmas Market, I promised that I will visit Chinatown again and I try to eat until I can't eat. And today is the time. It's the Lunar New Year week, so must be there are so many people and there might be special shops there. So it's the perfect time to eat until I can't eat. Let's explore the Yokohama Chinatown. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Sam. Yeah. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, cool. Is it dragon or dog? Uh, let me see. I guess it's some special dragon. No, maybe dog. How do you think? Is it dragon or dog? Please let me know in the comment. Oh, now they have trick art museum. I've never visited that. It must be fine. Uh, maybe we can visit in the future. Oh, koshou mochi? The pepper rice cake? It's Taiwanese soul food, it says. I've never tried that. Perfect with beer. Oh, let's try that. And the shoulong pao. I gotta try it. We are here again. You know, whenever I came to this long aisle, feels like I came back to Yokohama. Just walk to the end. You will find the entrance of Chinatown. Here it goes. Well, recently, it's been really cold and uh, super windy. So, yeah, feels like real winter came to Japan. All right, here we go. We arrived to the main street. Let's find the first food. Oh, interesting. This place has a Beijing duck burger. Oh, and also the hand roll as well. You know, sorry for my stereotyping, but a Beijing duck is something for the Chinese New Year. So, why not? Let's try it. Inside, there's a place to eat. Seems like it's a new restaurant. All right, so very first food. It's Beijing duck hand roll. Speaking of the Beijing duck, I don't remember when was the last time that I ate the Beijing duck, so really excited. To be honest, it was much smaller than what I thought, but it's okay. You can eat it. I'm not sure what kind of sauce it is, but it's kind of like a sweet miso. Perfect very much with duck. Also, good with veggies. Nice. When I was in the state studying in university, I had many Vietnamese friends and then they invited me to the spring road party sometimes. It was really fun, you know, sitting on the floors, trying to make the spring roll. Yeah, good memory. You know what? This is just entrance of the street, so let's keep eating. Let's go. Ooh. Well, I thought it would be more crowded, maybe because it's super windy day, so that's why. Maybe less people. Wow, so many people making line for the Shanghai Shoron Bound store. This place is so popular. It's pretty good, but one problem is that there is no place to eat. Actually, they have the restaurants in the second floor too, however, here. The note, you cannot use our restaurant if you order only drink or dim sum. So only dim sum, you can't use it. You have to have the uh, full lunch menu or dinner. Anyway, so let's find a place to eat. There are many places, so should be fine. Oh, koshomoji, that's the one, huh? Taiwanese soul food. I want to try that. Must be... This is the one. Let's try. Hi, Sweet. 
So I can just place the camera over here and uh, let's eat. <laughs> well, try to use the tripod, but it didn't work. You know, since this place was too small. Anyway, yeah. I can eat like this. <laughs> it's a little bit weird style, but it's okay. Itadakimasu. Outside, a really nice flavor of bread. Inside, there is a meat. Oh, sorry. The place next to me gets open, so let me move. <laughs> Actually, I was eating next to the trash can, so that's why there are many people and a little bit uncomfortable, but here, it's much easier to eat. Anyway, so speaking of the taste, inside, there is meat and a really nice pepper flavor. The flavor of bread perfectly matches. I'm loving it. Mm. So speaking of Chinese Lunar New Year, as I explained in the live stream, not really popular in Japan. I was born and raised in Japan, and the first time when I hear about the Lunar New Year was when I was in China. And the first time when I experienced the Chinese Lunar New Year in China, I was so surprised because that's huge and anyone celebrate it. There are so many firecracker sound. It was amazing. The one thing makes me surprised is that many stores are closing. As you guys know, Japanese people always they don't close the store. Even the Christmas or New Year or whatever it is. So I was surprised because in several days, you know, many stores are closing. So it was kind of a hard time I had. By the way, I used to study Chinese and international trading when I was in China. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, it's been a long time ago, so I totally forgot how to speak Chinese. But this is something I remember. Dajahao, Xinyan Kuai La. Never mind. Mitsuoshi. Alright, so let's keep eating. Seems like this area, more people are. Oh. Nice. Oh, here, they have ebichiri gushi. Ebichiri is my favorite food. Let's <laughs> try the skewer version though. I know, let's try that. Price is 500 Japanese yen. <laughs> let's try. All right, this place too, there's a table in front of the store, so it's easy to film. If I'm traveling with other people, probably it's much easier to film it. Maybe I can film it on the street too, but uh, whenever I want to eat, I have to find a place to eat. At least I have to find a place that the place I can, so sometimes it's really hard, but you know, that's okay. Anyway, well, <laughs> to be honest, 500 Japanese yen for this ebichiri. I'm not sure if it's a good price or not, but uh, you know, you are in the festival Chinatown, so <laughs> itadakimasu. Ah, it's much spicier than what I thought, actually, but it's pretty good. Usually, the ebichiri in Japan is not that spicy, but this one super spicy. However, the shrimp is so soft, perfectly matches with the spicy sauce. I love them. And <laughs> it's already gone. 500 Japanese. <laughs> yep, the taste is good, the price is good too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go to the next place. Oh, oh my goodness, it's good, but spicy. Yeah, in my mouth, <laughs> pay for it. I love spicy food, but I can't handle it much. Can you guys feel that? You love eating it, but you can't eat it. It's like torturing. <sighs> I have to be stronger. And the main street ends here. Let's explore the back street. Oh, here, the Chinese New Year object in front of the police station. Yep, that's a police station. So we were this Chukagai Odori, which is the main street. Now let's try the back street here. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yokohama, New York. Actually, New World. <laughs> the New York. New World. Really colorful. Oh, they have a fortune telling and also the tapioca drink. Interesting. Oh, really? They have a deep fry of frog? Is it popular eating frog in China? I'm just wondering. It's my first time to see that. Kaeru. By the way, frog in Japanese, kaeru. Kaeru. <laughs> they have Harinezumi man, the hedgehog bread. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> One is 150 Japanese yen. Why not? Let's try. Hi, <laughs> Oh my goodness, so cute. Let's eat. So this is the Harinezumi manga. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really well done. So detailed. <laughs> it like <laughs> Yeah, I'm too cute to eat it, but I will. <laughs> what is it? Outside. Really crispy cookie, and inside there is custard. Well, it's not only cute, it's pretty good too. By the way, the hedgehog in Japanese? Harinezumi, Harinezumi. In 2022, let's learn some little Japanese with me, with travel. So, the first word, Harinezumi. After that spicy abichiri, the sweet's perfect. Alright, so, let's go to the next place. And now, we are at Park Street. Oh, seems like it's a local store. They have so many... Geppei? Geppei? Mooncake. Mooncake in Japanese is Geppei. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize. Did you guys realize that? Actually, it's a dragon and those lanterns are his body. Coming from the gate. Cool. And the temple. Yep. Chinese style temple. Can you tell the difference between Japanese temple and the Chinese temple? This street much quiet. Don't feel like it's in the same town. <laughs> I see. It's coming from this panda. <laughs> so cute. Well, I guess they have a problem with high tone, so I believe they need to change that battery. Also, they have many cell phone straps. Oh, they sell sunflower seeds. I don't really find the sunflower seeds in Japan. So cool. Well, speaking of sunflower seeds, at the first time when I hear about people eating sunflower seeds, I was so surprised because, well, sorry for my ignorance, but the uh, first time I thought that that's the food for the hamster. Yeah, I had the hamster when I was a kid and uh, only that hamster eat the sunflower seeds. But uh, after I visit China and then my Chinese friend recommend me to eat the sunflower seeds and uh, I loving it. Well, if you never try that, try it. You might like it. It's pretty good. Oh, this is the veggie that I was looking for. Zasai. Ah, oh, zasai. Yeah, that's my favorite veggie. Let's buy it. I ate in the Chinese restaurants and I wanted to find out what kind of veggie it is. Let's buy it. Oh my goodness, this is the one I was looking for too. I couldn't find it in the Japanese restaurants. Let's buy this one too. Sweet, I got those. Price was 490 Japanese in total. I've never tried this one yet, but this ingredients, I'm loving it. It's a little bit spicy, but perfectly matches with many foods. Yep, I love using it for cooking. Oh, really? This is the bird's place of football, rugby in Japan, Yokohama. So I guess they play the first rugby game over here. Oh, feels like Chinatown. I guess it's a firebird. 
and also dragon. Really peaceful park. Super windy though. Well, whenever I see the dragon, I remember the song Path the Magic Dragon, Live by the Sea. <laughs> yeah, that's something what I have learned in the music class. Really popular song. Oh my goodness, look at this. Iseebi. Iseebi is a really popular shrimp in Japan. It's pretty expensive and uh, they have a chili sauce version. Must be good. Eh? I'm wondering how much it cost. They don't have a price. Must be expensive. Oh, that's the place. The Trick Museum. And also, Yokohama Daisekai Market. <laughs> they have a special gachapon for Yokohama. <laughs> you can get the mini stand with picture. I love Yokohama <laughs> with the photos. 300 Japanese yen. Yeah. That's something special for Yokohama. It's super bowl. Actually, it's a bouncing ball in Japanese called super bowl, super bowl. Loose version. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I want to have this dragon fruit wine or watermelon wine. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought my 200 Japanese yen is gone. Let me try it again. Oh, what I got? Oh no! <laughs> it's tomato! And uh, somehow a little bit greasy. I'm wondering if it's working or not. Let me see. Okay, it is working. <laughs> so. So I realized that uh, this side is Super Bowl and then this side is a plastic so mm, it's okay. Oh Geppei Mooncake. Also so many panda stuff. Oh I didn't know that they have a Mickey Mouse collab with Yokohama. If you're the Disney fan, don't forget to get this when you come over to Yokohama. And we are back to the main street. Oh my goodness, look at this. Interesting. Teba gyoza? The chicken wing. Inside. Gyoza? Why not? Let's try it. Here too, inside, there is a place to eat. Loving it. They just start deep frying. Really excited. You know, in 2023, I want to try many new foods. Yes, something I found interesting and something new, I will try it. Let's enjoy! Yep, still, I don't forget to wash my hands here. Alright, here we go. The food just arrived. And look at this. <laughs> it's bigger than what I thought and it smells really good. Also, since it's Chinese Lunar New Year, I ordered Chinese beer as well. It's Chintang beer. Let's come by with it. Alright, so happy Lunar New Year. Come by. Ah, Saigo. And itadakimasu. So that's a tebasaki, the gyoza inside. <laughs> Let me see how it tastes like. Actually, it's really hard, so. <laughs> Let me have a small bite. It's really hard, but it's really interesting. The outside, really crispy deep fried. The first bite, you feel like it's a deep fried chicken, and then after that, immediately nice flavor of gyoza comes out. <laughs> really interesting. And also, there is no more. Mm. And definitely perfect with beer. Uh, speaking of the Chinese beer that I remember is Shuehua. I think it's a snow flower. I've never seen it in Japan, but when I was in Wuhan, I uh, tried many Shuehua because it was cheaper compared to the other beer. I 
don't remember the price much. I think it was like 90 Japanese yen, 80 Japanese yen per one beer. So compared to Japan, it's much cheaper. Taste was a little bit different, but it was good too. Especially, I love the pop. I miss Shuefar. I haven't been drinking for a while, so I'm wondering how I feel about it if I drink it now. Maybe I feel something different. Yeah, definitely, if I found the Shuefa in somewhere, I will try it. Have you guys tried the Shuefa before? I'm wondering if you guys know it. Mm. This one inside has more juice, it's like Shorobao. Well, if you come over here on Saturday or Sunday, you might have an event, but it will be super crowded. If you want to enjoy just the street food and then the atmosphere, probably you'd better come over here on the weekday. That was good food. All right, so let's go to the next spot. Let's go. Ooh, outside it gets totally dark. In the nighttime, the street has different atmosphere. Now we came back to the main street. Definitely, I love the nighttime atmosphere. It's the time of the sunset, so the sky is really beautiful. Oh, you know what? That park must be beautiful. Let's go back and check. I guess should be over there. Oh yeah, nighttime much better. Also, this place too. Perfect with the night sky. You know what? Uh, it's windy, so it's cold. <laughs> Since we are in Yokohama, let's go to say hello to the Gundam. It's Tuesday, so must be closing though. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's a. Uh... It's something crazy! <laughs> it's super super windy and cold! <laughs> now they have a Chinese New Year object perfectly matches with fountain. By the way, since it gets darker, I change my lens to the brighter lens. Hope you guys can see better. Oh, this way! Looks better! I usually play the, you know, moving music over here. But uh, I will sing instead, since it's a new year. You guys ready? Puff the magic dragon, lead by the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So, let's go to the Gundam place. Oh my goodness, it's super windy. I kind of like the atmosphere of the ocean. Windy ocean though. Well, hopefully the wave doesn't come over until here. Hope not. He's scared too. By the way, that's Yokohama Port Tower. Really nice view from there. If you want to see, please check my Yokohama Christmas Market video. And the Gundam should be over there. Ocean. Well, my favorite song? Ocean. Where my feet something. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember the title. My favorite song though. Oh my goodness, oh! <laughs> this place is totally wet! I don't want to get closer! And uh, yeah, and the Gundam is almost there! <laughs> the kids love the wind! <laughs> they really enjoyed it! <laughs> well, me? <laughs> Definitely enjoying it! <laughs> yeah, I love my hoodie! It's much warmer. <laughs> and also, it's 
also that place it's totally wet too almost well Gandam is almost there let's keep walking by the way if you are visiting Gundam factory usually they close on Tuesday so be careful <laughs> almost oh finally he's here sorry in the night time can't really see it but uh still you can see this much but on the weekday usually they have show and you can see better because he comes out i love nighttime yokohama night if you're visiting yokohama visit here in the night time oh my goodness look at the moon <laughs> I said moon, <laughs> sorry, moon. It's really beautiful. Uh, I was thinking to film the ending over there, but someone in there, so... Maybe this place? Nope, that place is too windy. Let me find a place. Inside the station must be better. Oh, finally. Yep, feels much better. <laughs> oh my goodness, my hair totally mess. Alright, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. There are more adventures that are coming and a big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Hope you have a wonderful year of 2023. Happy New Year again, Shin and Koila. So, see you in the next video. See you now, go. <laughs> have a great day, bye bye. Let's play with Super Bowl. <laughs> it's kind of fun to play. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, I think 200 Japanese yen worth it. So, bye bye.